Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. It's like, no. What's good with y'all, man? I know y'all probably tired of me just talking to the camera, so I need to show y'all some shit on the charts. You know what I'm saying? Um, today, we're going to be talking about candlesticks, man. The most important thing is the candles, because if you don't understand candles, you can't make no money. You don't know where the direction of the market is going. So right now, I'm on a 15-minute chart. Um, EU, of course. And I'm going to be showing you a couple uh, candle patterns that makes a big deal. Okay, you need to understand these candle patterns so you can be able to know when to get out of a trade, when it's time to hold a trade, etc. So the main patterns that people know is engulfing candles, right? Uh, engulfing bullish candle, these two right here. These two, right? Let me zoom in so y'all can understand. The engulfing bullish candle, right? Is when the green, or if your candle is blue, the green candle is bigger than the red and it closes above the red candle, just like this candle. It closes above the red candle. That's an engulfing bullish candle. These candles indicate that the market wants to push up, okay? Now, Sometimes the market will fake you out. It would do an engulfing and then go against you. However, it still means that it wants to go up, but fake outs do happen. So you just got to just live with the results. So an engulfing, an engulfing, engulfing bullish candle means it want to go up. This is the candle pattern. This is the candle pattern. Okay. So if you want to take notes, you want to get a coloring book, whatever you want to do. Okay. And the same thing for the opposite. Same thing for the opposite. The engulfing bearish candle, right? That means price closes past the green candle, indicating that it wants to go down, right? So if you if you plan to, if you watch my uh, my Fibonacci strategy video, if you see this you know that a pullback is coming. Like, you should get ready for your entry. Because, oh shit, my bad. Because if you look bottom, the EMA is at the bottom, we're on the uptrend, you should wait for the pullback, right? You should wait for the pullback to enter. But back to the video. So this is an engulfing bearish candle indicating that it wanna go down, okay? This is the, it ain't gonna look this big. Let me, let me look at this one over here. Engulfing bearish candle, engulfing, bearish candle engulfing bearish candle you know what i'm saying engulfing bearish candle so it just indicates that it's going to pull down like the next candle should pull down you know what i'm saying it should go down um yeah so y'all understand engulfing bullish mean it want to go up engulfing bearish that mean you want to go down and we have to talk about where where is it i need some where is it where is it? Uh, these are. God, where is it? This is a very common pair as well. I call these MESs, morning, evening stars. Okay. So, this is a, this is a a very common pattern. This right here. Let me circle it for you. So price comes down right it makes a doji a doji this candle right here let me put an arrow on it so you can there is my there we go this is a doji that little middle one where the body of the candle is very small it's very small that means it's it don't know what direction want to go in right and if the next candle closes above this doji and 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 kind of mimics the the red candle this is called a 
I call it an MES. People call it morning even star. I just say morning even star. Cause like the opposite way I think is an evening and the other way I think is a morning. I could be wrong, but it don't matter because they, they, they both do the same thing. So this candle pattern means a reversal is happening. So if you see this candle pattern, you can be like, okay, this could reverse. Let me see what the next candle gonna do. Now if the next candle passes the green candle and the red candle, this is a pull, this, this could be a pullback like how you see right here, or you could be in a trade and it's about to reverse. So, you know, just be wary of that. This is called a MES. I call it a MES. The doji in the middle is an indecision. It don't know what it want to do. Here go another one right here. Circle it for you so you can fully see it. A MES. Morning, evening, start. It, it pulls up. Make sure I got the arrow. I gotta make sure y'all get this, man. Understanding candle patterns and candlesticks is very important. So we got a we got a bullish candle, an indecision candle, and then a bearish candle. MES. And what does the next candle do? It it passes the red one and the green one. So it's going down. So if, if you enter this entered off of this little Fibonacci play which I know there's a Fibonacci play right here if you see this you should be very happy because it's going in your favor it's definitely touching you know what I'm saying it, it, it's in your face so MES MES it can be it can be going reversal going up or it can be a reversal going down plain and simple you know what I'm saying let's see some more we got some engulfings right here some more engulfings some more engulfings um more engulfings. Here go another MES right here. Uh, it ain't gonna be perfect, but you you will know because the the doji would be in the middle. That's how you will know. Like this, this is not a perfect MES, but um as long as the doji is in the middle, you can you can barely even see. You can barely even see the um, the middle candle. You can barely see it because it, it's a it's an indecision. It don't know what it want to do. So they go another MES, and then look at this, dog. We got two MESs like back to back. Like I know y'all see it. We got another MES, another reversal, another reversal. Boom. Go back up. Another MES. Go back down. Like you could just literally like. If you just strictly just trade price action and use like a, a like a scalper, you can make money, man. You can make money. You gotta know the overall direction of the market. You can't just be, oh, it go MES. I'm go, I'm taking a buy. Oh, go MES go down. I'm taking a sell. Like, don't do that. But you just gotta know the overall direction. If you know the overall direction and you know candlesticks, that's a strategy right there. You know what I'm saying? Like some some people trade naked charts. They only trade what price is doing. They don't have no moving averages or no Fibonacci. They just trade price action. People are profitable off of trading just price action. So if you can understand candlesticks, that's a strategy alone. Like people trade engulfing candles. I don't recommend it, but that's just me. I'm not an expert. Who am I? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, to go another MES and then another MES right there. We got another engulfing right here. You can just spot these things. Got another engulfing bullish, engulfing bearish, engulfing bearish. You know what I'm saying? Engulfing bearish. And golf and bearish, like bro, like you see what it's doing. And golf and bearish went down. And golf and bullish went up. And golf and bearish went down. Like it's like clockwork. And golf and bearish went down. And golf and bearish wicked up, then went down. So you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be a hundred percent, but just so you can understand the concept of it. Okay, so I didn't want to. I didn't want to mention this, but this one is pretty important. These are called tweezer tops and tweezer bottoms, okay? Tweezer tops and tweezer bottoms are when the market, I said the market, bro, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> it's when the market pushes up and then pushes back down and the candle bodies are almost the exact same. So let me let me show you, cause you, here you go, you go one right here. Like they're damn near the same. These are tweezers. This is a tweezer. The up down candle 
that shows you that the buyers try to come in and then the bears came in and just took over, which means this is a reversal pattern. It's another reversal pattern. So go up, go down, comes back down. And, and you see the fake out right here. So my bad. So these, these, uh, these three candles right here was the MES indicating my bad. I did that so ugly. My bad. So these three candles right here indicating that you want to go down, right? You look at the your moving average. They are at the bottom. It pushes up. Can't be mad at that, right? Because it's we're still temporary bullish right now. Then you get an engulfing bullish candle, right? It pushes up. And then you get a tweezer, which is like equal lows and equal highs of the body. Pushes back down. It's following its rules, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, engulfing candles is I, I don't prefer it, but if you trade it, hey, go for it. But yeah, those are the main three. The main three that I focus on. I focus on tweezers, which is the equal, equal size bodies of the of the candles, engulfing and 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 bearish candles, engulfing uh bullish candles, and engulfing bearish candles. I focus on those and I focus on MESs. Those are reversal patterns. I want to see reversal patterns on my Fibonacci play. I want to see tweezers on my Fibonacci play. You know what I'm saying? I want to see some engulfings in my direction on the Fibonacci play. You know what I'm saying? I want to see those type of patterns so I can get some confidence. Like, okay, maybe I need to stack another order. I'm good. You know what I'm saying? I don't need to be worrying about if it don't play out or not. This is good. You know what I'm saying? So look at this. Went down through MES. Some people probably would have closed. I'm holding it. I'm holding it to this level right here or whatever. Um, in golfing, uh, this is like a tweezer right here. Pull back down. You should get ready for your Fibonacci setup. Boom. You get in. Feel me? Uh, let me see. Down up candle. It pushed up crazy. Man, this is crazy, bro. Bearish, uh, bearish and golfing went down. You should be waiting on pullback. It came back up, pulled back down. Like it's doing a lot of bullshit. I wouldn't. Yeah, this is pretty ugly. But you get the concept of it. So you need to, you need to spot these things. Like it ain't nothing. Bullish, and golfing, bearish, and golfing. MES going up and down. MES going up and down. Matter of fact, let me show you another MES just so you can just so you can get it. Cause I know engulfings and and engulfing bullish and bearish is pretty easy to see. And um tweezers are pretty easy to see. Let me just, I'm gonna find y'all two more. Find y'all two more of MESs. Okay, we got MES right here. Like I said, it ain't it ain't gonna be pretty all the time. Right here. This is a powerful MES because it's like a mixture of an engulfing with the MES. So it's an up candle. The middle is always a doji. Remember, the middle candle is always an indecision candle. And the next one should be the opposite of the first candle. So they go another MES. This is an ugly one. All right, don't get me wrong. That's pretty ugly. Let's go find y'all one more. Come on, load it up, bro. Bro. Uh, okay. My internet, my internet is so trash. I'm not gonna lie. As long as it ain't cutting off when I'm trading, I'm good. <laughs> That'd be terrible. But, but no, real talk, bro. Why is it not working? Man, bro, look at that. Okay, let's find another MES for y'all. Boom. Right here. Boom. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's not gonna be pretty. We only focus for the first and the third candle. We only focus on the body. We only focus on the body. The middle candle must be a doji, okay? It must be a doji. This is an MES. Pulls back down, closes. Indecision candle, we don't know if we wanna go up or down. And then the next one goes past it. Almost the same size as the red candle. And then it goes up. That's all, that's all I got, man. These are very, 
um, important candlestick patterns that you need to understand so you can understand what price want to do for the future. You know what I'm saying? Some people actually only trade price action. They don't, they don't, they don't even have no indicators on their charts, nothing. They just trade what they see. And some people are profitable, some people are not. It's up to you, but I hope this video helped you. If you did, hit that like button for me, man. Hey, man. Bro, I'm going to fight some of y'all, bro. So, y'all ain't going to subscribe to your boy. I'm, I'm dropping y'all knowledge. I can't even get a sub. No love out here, bro. I'm looking at analytics, man. Only 27% of people watch my watch my uh, channel. And then 73 do not subscribe, but they watching the vids. I'm just like, dang, I ain't even good for a subscribe. It's all good, man. All right, y'all, let's go. Let's let's kill it. Hey, it's the weekend. What you should be doing? You need to be practicing, bro. Stop playing. I, I ain't go out. I got me some pizza right here. I got my water. I'm not going out. I'm locked. I'm focused right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to get to the bag. I'm trying to, you feel me? I'm trying to do what I got to do. So you should too. So I'm gone, man. Peace.